Welcome to IT and Digital Resources in Teaching Foreign Languages course, lecture number 18, Tools for Visualization of Educational Material, Wordle, Photophonia, Mindoma. Plan for today's lecture. Tools for visualization, tools of educational material, Wordle. The second question, tools for visualization of educational material, Photophonia. And the last question for discussion, tools for visualization of educational material, Mindoma. Wordle is a tool that creates word clouds that you can print and use in teaching English. Use the images you generate with Wordle 2. Create word clouds from a text and use it. To review key vocabulary, to check comprehension of the text, to recycle the content of the text, provide word clouds for students to use as a starting point for a writing activity. It can also be used to predict the content of the next reading text. The word cloud in this post above is created with Wordle. I provided the URL of this blog to generate it. Wordle is useful for brainstorming or reflecting, remembering vocabulary, studying for an exam, summarizing a chat or discussion, adding a visual element to a blog post, sharing thoughts or notes on a certain subject, exploring color palettes or fonts, creating fun thank you notes or greeting cards for friends or loved ones, displaying creativity. To create a Wordle. First of all, go to wordle.net or start with the form of English Club's language tools page. Then click on create. Type a bunch of words in the text box to keep words together for phrases used between each word. Click go. Then change the font, letter style, layout and color to suit your style. You can click randomize until you like it or design manually. Then click on save. Save to public gallery and copy link or take a screenshot. Welcome to the world of Wordle. This is the Wordle homepage that you get to when you visit www.wordle.net. And this is where you go if you want to create an interesting word picture. Um, it's actually quite a simple program to use. All you need to do is you click on the Create button here and you have a choice now. You can paste in a bunch of text or if you felt so inclined you could type in text uh, in this box and then make a picture. I've already prepared a, a, a slide here with the po one of my favorite poems, Stopping by the Snowy Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. So I just copied that and now I'm going to paste it in the box. So there's the entire text of the poem. Uh, without the title. I elected not to use the title. And all I have to do now is click on Go and Wordle does the rest for me. It takes the, the text, it works its magic, and in a matter of a few seconds you will have a document showing up in front of you. And there you go. There There is the Wordle um, result. Now you don't have to take what Wordle gives you. You have a ch chance that you can go to this one called Randomize and you can click on it and it'll keep regenerating images using the same words until you're happy with what you see. And that's, that one's kind of cool. Um, the, the black and white is sometimes uh, a good contrast and some people favor that. And you just keep clicking until you're you're happy with what you have. And maybe that's oh, there we go. There's another one. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or you can go up here to font, and you can choose your your own font. And I'm going to try Kenyan coffee here, and that's a different look. I can try layout. If I don't like like the way the the words are going, I can go to say mostly horizontal, um, which I'm not. Oh, I went horizontal, just horizontal. There's mostly horizontal. That's what I was looking for. That has a different look to it. Now, I like the look. I don't know if I like the color. So I'm going to go to this one called Blue Chill. It's kind of a wintry thing. And I'm going to say, OK, now it jumps out at me. I think I'm ready to save this. Once you're ready to save, you simply click on Save to Public Gallery. 
and I can give it a name. You'll notice my username is there, so I'm going to call it Stopping by the Woods. And I will click on OK. And it should be saved, and that's how you create it. Now the tricky thing with with Wordle is what do you do with it once you have it? And I can I can open it in the window. Um, I could use a program like Jing, which I'm using to record this, or I could copy the the text here, the HTML code, and I could paste it into uh, a, uh, a website such as a, a blog or into uh, a personal web page that I may have developed. Um, I'm not going to do that now. That's another lesson. Photofony is an online editing application that can instantly transform your photos from their original boring state into fun works of art that will amuse you and your friends. The only thing you need to do is to upload images to Photofony and it will automatically identify features on the image such as faces or bodies and apply various effects on top of them. You are never manually cutting layers from the image because Photofony does that work for you? Free online photo effects and filters. Photofunny is an easy to use image editing web application that enables everyone to easily transform their ordinary photos into eye catching and attractive images that are perfect for sharing online among friends family members and public posting of forum boards, blogs, websites and social network platforms. While many other image editors they are oriented or enhancing photos with fun effects have complicated procedures and dashboards with many tools. Photofunny has oriented in its interface and tools toward providing extremely easy experience to and who just want to pick image transforming effects, choose upload their own photo, and then in seconds receive finished image that they can use and share however they want. Free online photo effects and filters. The overall purpose of MindDoma is to create maps, share and allow your thoughts and ideas to evolve in that of a visual form. The software allows an individual's mind to stay focused on a task or idea. The MindDoma software is free to everyone. However, the free version will only save up to 7 private mind maps and infinite public maps. MindDoma serves to be beneficial when one needs to do planning and or collaborating. By using MindDoma, one is able to lay out ideas in a clear, conscious manner. According to MindDoma, this program allows an individual to escape from trying to think and write in the right order. MindDoma can be thought of as a web for pre-writing. It allows you to build on ideas without the restrictions of being linear. It's now easy to manually install MindDoma onto your computer. You can manually install MindDoma by doing one of the following steps. First, install Adobe Air, then download MindDoma desktop. MindDoma provides schools with a platform for students and teachers to work cooperatively to form the 21st century classroom. With MindDoma, teachers can become facilitators in guiding students towards achieving their goals. MindDoma fosters students' creative expression through allowing students to include videos, images, or any external files to support their ideas. MindDoma offers teachers with assignment tools that allow them to send an online request to their students, inviting them to access incomplete mind map about a specific lesson. Students start working in groups and begin exploring their broad topic questions and all of their changes will be sent to their teacher as notifications in which he can provide feedback via MindDoma comment feature. In the 
In the end, students encouraged to turn their mind map into a presentation, using Mindoma Presenter to explain their research process step by step. Mindoma also allows for printing mind map on paper, which can be annotated and also distributed to other students for peer review.
The use of visualization in teaching foreign languages activates the mental activity of students, causes interest and desire of students to learn a foreign language, increases the amount of studied information, visualization of educational material is achieved through interactive multimedia technologies. Visualizations could offer valuable information on how the world works to learners across all ages. Additionally, visualizations have proven to be effective teaching and learning tools in science education. For instance, visualizations can transform invisible scientific processes into visible processes or transform abstract concepts into concrete ones. By integrating them in science education, teaching becomes more interesting, more accessible to children and gives the opportunity to students to discover, experiment, analyze and visualize physical phenomena across the natural sciences. Through Roma, the integration of visualizations can assist students to develop a range of skills such as scientific skills or practical skills and special skills, as well as to develop better understanding of the physical phenomena occurring all around us. Now let's discuss questions after this lecture. Features of Wordle program, features of Photofania program, and features of Mindoma program.
Here you can see the list of references that you can use after our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.